Hi, this is Joyce, and I'm here to share with you more about the progress on my prayer map. I want to just give you a little review first. Okay, so first I painted the whole thing some pretty colors, and uh, because we're a beautiful nation. And then I, uh, I did some research uh, on a word study in the Bible about wickedness, because I do believe our nation is becoming more and more wicked. We are turning from the way that a Christian nation would uh, have values. We're turning from the values that a Christian nation should have. And so I, I categorized them into about 12 groupings. And these are not placed on the map in any particular order, nor are they um, specific just to a certain group of people. I believe we all have some of these, each of these probably, in our life to some extent. And that our goal in getting closer to God is to purge ourselves of some of this stuff. Covenant breakers, mockery, self is king, sexual immorality, violence, over here, corruption and greed and the devaluing of life. So once those were on, then I did some silver swishes. You can kind of see them. They shine a little bit uh, in the right light. And they, that represents the conviction of the Holy Spirit. God does not send condemnation. He sends conviction, an inner knowing that there's something better in life that we could have. And so we feel just unsettled, I think. Unsettled, sometimes at the end of our rope, sometimes questioning, is this all it's about? You know, money, power, um, sex, entertainment. Is there something deeper that I should have in life? The answer is yes. <laughs> Just a little sneak preview. So then the next thing I did is on these, um, on the swishes, I put some, some uh, call on him now while he may be found. Turn to the Lord, for he will forgive generously. Um, he will take away our stony, stubborn heart and give us instead a tender, responsive heart. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Boy, if we just did that, we'd be in good shape. <laughs> it was over um, here, and that is, how does God draw us to him? He draws us with kindness, abundant life, fresh start, we can have a do-over. There's never anything we've done that could prevent him from loving us. Renewed purpose, destiny, you wonder what you're supposed to be doing. Hope, he gives us friendship. There is no guilt or shame. Like I said, there's that inner knowing that there's something better. Love, 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 more love, love, refreshing. Peace, beauty, rest, joy. The cost, free, except. There's small print here. This is, this is not a sucker game, but this is the truth. There's small print that says he wants to transform your, your whole life, everything. And it's requiring humility on your part to admit your need. It's much easier to think that we can do it ourselves. Repentance, stopping in our tracks, looking at what we're doing, turning around and saying, I want something different. That is the doorway to the new life with God. And over here in larger print, is one of the basic costs is that we must forgive our debtors. Those who have hurt us, have wounded us, have cheated us, we have to forgive them. And God will forgive us the way that we forgive them. So it requires a respect for others and an understanding that nobody's perfect and that we're all in this together. There's one last thing I want to show you. It's down here in Alaska. I thought of it for Alaska because they're so uh, remote. Self-reliance. But, you know, that idea that I don't need God. 
He's a crutch for weak people, and I am strong. But it isn't just Alaska that struggles <laughs> that would have that. It's all of us. I believe it's the American independent spirit is that I can do this alone. I don't need help. And then the last thing, the good news. The good news is that if we receive Jesus into our heart, he's going to start growing some fruit in us. There's going to be changes in our life and our personality. We're going to have more love and joy and peace and patience and kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, goodness, self-control. Who doesn't want those good things in our life? I know I do. I need more of them. The other good news, mercy triumphs over judgment. God is not up there with a hammer waiting to smash you down. He's waiting for you to turn to him and acknowledge him. In America, we've pretty much told him to leave us alone. Go away. We don't need you. You're dead. It's not true. And if we acknowledge our need for him and we turn from the wickedness that we've been doing and instead we call out to him, he will answer us and he will... He will heal our nation.